Hello? How's everybody doing? I think I've started off on the wrong, uh, I was about to say wrong foot, the right foot. But, uh, sometimes I forget that the big picture in the middle of OBS is actually what's being streamed. So, uh, for like a minute, I didn't have my splash screen up, so. Good job, me. Oh, I cut out the music. All right, so, um, I almost, the, the pressure was on to not stream today, but I figured what good is streaming if the first week of like the new schedule, I don't stick to it. So here I am with lots of coffee to compensate. Let me check real quick that my audio is working. Let me check. It is good, good, good. Ugh. All right, so I actually, some behind the scenes stuff. I have like some notes here so I don't forget <laughs> to mention uh, a couple things. Um, whoops, I clicking outside of the game shushes the sound. Um, so yeah, went going for the clean sweep. On my schedule this week, it's my first first week. I'm going to try my hardest to stick to the schedule. We'll see how well that goes. It seems that I can usually stick to like a new thing for a couple weeks, and this is the first week. So the second week is usually the most trying time for me when it comes to diets, when it comes to exercise, when it comes to anything disciplined um i think my goal actually such as it is is to get to twitch affiliate status by the end of the year which i think is doable because i have all like i have the viewer metrics what is it you, you gotta have an average of three viewers during your stream you have to stream like eight hours in 30 days in a 30 day period so i mean i've nailed that i've nailed the streaming times the streaming links the streaming viewers it's the follower count that's that's uh the big problem well, i wouldn't even say problem Problem makes it sound so negative. 25 of you are following, and I appreciate it a whole lot. So, if you like what you see, maybe, maybe follow. I would, I would appreciate it. <laughs> um, uh, speaking of affiliate rules, I did finally track down in the terms of service, the good old Twitch legal documents. I, once you become an affiliate slash partner, I learned that you can't upload your videos to any other platform for 24 hours after your stream has ended. So I think I'm kinda going to adopt that early, which will be why the videos show up on YouTube a bit late. 24 hours late to be exact, but the VOD should be on Twitch, which is kind of, I think that's where I would like people to watch it anyway. <laughs> I, YouTube is great. I love YouTube for like 
on-demand watching. I don't watch Twitch VODs. But, uh, you know, I figure I'm, I'm, I'd be, I'm fine with waiting 24 hours for people to upload their stuff, so. You guys are gonna have to be too. Uh, let's see. Um, 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 um. I think the last point here is I don't know what kind of a streamer I want to be yet, which sounds awful because I like to jump from game to game. So at the moment I'm doing Halo, Halo 1, 2, and 3 is the plan, and then maybe ODST and Reach later, but it's like in between the Halo games I'll play another game. So it was Halo 1, and then Perfect Dark, and then Halo 2, and now Alan Wake. And then it'll be Halo 3, and then maybe Okami is on the list? Uh, and then after that, I want to play the three Tomb Raider games. Because I've played Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, and then, uh... What is it? Rise of the Tomb Raider? And I have not played the third one, so that'll be like my next big three. But, and then I don't know what games I'll play in between those. So I guess that's variety stream instead of like, uh, like Fortnite every single day. Which I'm not opposed to Fortnite, but I don't play that kind of stuff. I seem to like, uh, like the single player story kind of stuff. Such as it is, I mean, I I said, I was like, we'll play Halo, because it's a nice story, sh a shooter kind of thing, and turns out, when you, when you play it with a mind to, like, talk about the story, there's not a whole lot of story to Halo. You're fighting aliens, you fight more aliens, and then you blow up Halos. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Like... They say it's better to like focus on one game so you're like you become like popular in your your category and then people know where to find you and then you just climb the ranks in your one category, but I would probably uh quit before I like played one game for the rest of time. So I'm it's gonna be a variety stream. Of the puzzly adventure y this this kind of Alan Wakey stuff. And I haven't decided if I want to do, like, you know, a game the first half of the week, Monday and Tuesday, and then another game Thursday and Friday, and then maybe do some art stuff on Saturday, which would be today. Because I do kind of want to get into the sort of hobby of making D&D &D battle maps, you know, like the stuff, the maps with the grids, which seem to be few and far between the nice battle maps. I have Photoshop all set up for that, so that that might be fun to like have a have a weekend cooldown stream of nothing in particular except doodling battle maps. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. It's all up for debate. Okay, that's enough rambling. It's about ten minutes of rambling, so. Let me let me get this uh these notes out of the way. And into into a interesting game. Finally, right? Gosh. All these what super long head. intros. Jeez, Mr. takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and more importantly, a fan. Oh right. <laughs> Rose is in cahoots with What's his name? Barry. Barry's an agent. I. You missed my diatribe, probably. Why is Alan wandering around at night fighting zombies? <laughs> um. Let's see. The quick recap will be. They, he and his wife came into, is it Bright, Bright Falls? Bright Falls is the name of the city. And they went to pick up a key to a cabin from some guy named Mr. Stucky, but he was 
indisposed at the time, so some creepy old lady gave us a key to a cabin on a lake. And we went to the cabin on the lake. Everything was all fine and dandy until that night. His wife was, like, abducted by something in the lake. He dove into the lake to rescue her, and then all of a sudden he wakes up in a car wreck. And then he starts wandering in the forest to find the gas station to call for help. And while he's walking through the woods, he gets assaulted by zombies. Or darkness zombies. Something. Crazy Mr. Stucky wandering around in the lumberjack lumber mill thing. So he may have had brain damage and is seeing everybody as a zombie and just killed a bunch of people trying to get to the gas station. Oh, so right now it's kind of like you're kind of in sort of a split reality kind of thing. You don't know which one's the dream and which one's the real world at the moment. All you know is your wife is missing in both worlds at the moment. I will say right up front that most of the stuff in the game is unanswered. Like you can kind of like... You kind of know why things go the way they do, but as far as... Why? <laughs> It's one of those open-ended things, you know, like it immediately starts up saying that the element of horror is having things unexplained. So it lives up to that foreshadowing. It does not explain everything. It leaves things spooky weird. And you're like, what did, what just happened? But I liked I like the theme, and there's some cool stuff later on that was like, wow, this is pretty cool. But until now, we're like, uh... Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy, and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, <laughs> and someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Here's, wrong, here's the recap, exactly. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. You shut up, Barry. I know what I've seen. Also, you told me the audio was quiet and I re-listened to my uh, videos and you were right. So I've bumped up the audio a bit. I don't think I want to bump it up anymore, but it does make it a lot easier to hear, I think, what they're saying. So. Yep. Yep, I did it. Rusty. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, with I'm a sorry dog. about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Wait a second. What is happened? this some crazy poachers? Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Oh, this is the Max dog is from that collar on the radio. I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Seriously, okay, boy. Al, we're almost done. You can't just here. go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing. It... Listen, you. Barry hit actually. Your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. He's... You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. The guy in the Hawaiian shirt is the voice of reason at this moment. So, while he was in the, the um, uh, police station, he got a call that 
or we have your wife do this, this, and this, and come meet us at some place called Lover's Peak and stuff. So he's like, all of a sudden now he's like, oh, I can't talk to the cops. So very standard fair. And that's kind of annoying, actually. It's just like every, everyone does that. It's just tropes. All right, I signed the form. I'm going to stay at a, uh, a cabin because where we were staying, Cauldron Lake. It's gone. The cabin at Cauldron Lake is gone. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Yoink. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Hello. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Thank you very you much. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. So you're saying Lover's Peak is on the peak. Crazy. You know what? I'm going to tweak the graphics real quick. That uh, cheap uh, motion blur is throwing me off. And now that I'm looking for it, I do not see the motion blur settings here. So I guess we're just going to have to leave. Li leave. Live. With bad motion blur. See, look at that. I don't enjoy that. See, look, it's kind of weird. It, like, makes his face go... He's, like, all inky. Anyway. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went... Into thin air, yep. a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Yep. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, yep. strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with too long tangled up sleeves, That's and true. eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm <laughs> I mean, it's hard to argue with the fact here, that his wife is gone. Who is me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Personally, I like you, Barry. You can stay. In character, I hate you, Barry. Get out of here. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not Rage a lamp. debate. Pow! I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, <sighs> call the cavalry. Barry, I want your help. Stay <laughs> here. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. <laughs> oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Barry is great. I feel like he could come across as a really irritating character. Because yeah, yeah, the agents are always kind of like the pushy legal alone, folks. But, fine. but he's he's pretty awesome. It kind of is cabin straight from a horror movie. Funny you should mention that. Horror movie? This is a pretty sweet cabin, actually.
Oh, he's totally right. <laughs> Sit here in the dark till you come back. Or until I get eaten by a Gru. <laughs> a Gru! Oh man, could you imagine if I was like, if I would stream text adventure games? I love text adventure games! Hmm. That gives me an idea for like in between like the Tomb Raiders. I think it's possible to, like, legally buy Zork still, right? I've never actually finished Zork because... Those games are brutally difficult. Crow? Or Raven? Bye, Barry. Um, I don't know how it would stream. It would probably get super old because I would probably want to read everything to make sure everybody saw it or heard it. And that would make my voice hurt a lot. Paige. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. <gasps> Language. You know what? Real quick. Um... I'm going to disable the mouse on this and it may like flicker and do crazy things, but uh, there, because I don't, I don't think the mouse is important in the gameplay. I, knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. Well, you're an idiot, Alan. called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Is there a way to keep my laptop, like, from going to sleep while it's playing a video? I use it as sort of like a sound check. Anyway, yes, Alan. You're stupid. You're either walking into a trap or you're crazy and you're just lucid enough to know you're crazy. The heck? Was that a raccoon or like more birds? Hello? I'm just gonna barge into this dude's house. I can't tell the names on those books. Lights, camera, action. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your dear fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seek to manage. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party contest judges, too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good I shape. don't want to interrupt the radio, but... I, I know for a fact you saw the guy outside the window, right? Matter 
He had the darkness swoosh as he walked past. Early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that time to do the test. The guy is gone. That's not not creepy at all. Actually, fairly expected. Creepy tire swing, probably full of wasps. Earthquake. Earthquake! Although, to be honest, they are next to... It's a volcano, right? Cauldron Lake is a volcano. There could be seismic activities. Well, that's a smashed up cabin. Lover's Peak, to the left. Were we just in here? No. Okay. Oh, spooky! Well, that's a TV. We'll just turn it on and watch it in the background. There's nothing in here. Cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in night springs. Do, do, do. The man in the mirror. Well, I mean, not gonna lie, I'm kinda curious about what the episode's about. <laughs> Can't even get so, close enough to see. To kill that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game you pick a guy and quoting from the arresting officer's report here, a soccer repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up, but why? We're watching TV. We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant? I think this episode is shaping up to be like, this guy is this parallel universe part. You won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever going to be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so there's like there's like a bunch of collectibles in this game and these TV watching the TV, listening to the radio, collecting coffee thermoses and collecting story pages are all things to collect. Although the story pages you collect are actually kind of helpful if you read them. 
Meanwhile, in the real world, Alan Wake's wife is captured or is missing and some people are taking responsibility for taking her hostage. So now he's going to the top of a mountain to get her back without talking to the police. Also, there's crazy shadow people trying to kill him. <laughs> Unless he's crazy. In which case, they're not shadow the people. The visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. Rusty. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake. It happened just the way it was on that page. Rusty is the dog owner, right? We haven't met him yet. Adjusting my hair in the webcam. I've got hobbit hair right now, and it's super dry where I live, so it's just like, foosh. Anyway. Ah! The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Is that someone driving away in the car or what? What? Gonna, gonna be out of breath. I'm coming, Rusty. Where are you? Hello. Oh wow! This is where we. My, oh. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, no. Rusty's the cop. Whatever did this from the bar, Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would oh. help you understand what had happened. Dude, your leg. Look at all the blood. I'm going to take your gun, all right? <laughs> now you have no self-defense. Uh, I have a key. Okay, there's the key. Boop. Key. Get the lights on. Did something drive through the... There's like... An inordinate amount of blood all over the place. Nope, that's not the office. No, that's not the office. Oh wait. There's a there's a dot on the mini map up there. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. <gasps> Page. Rusty attacked by the dark the presence. The center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Yeah, something smashed through the building. Like the whole the whole the world as a whole isn't like destroyed or anything it's just this area at the moment but that is kind of the premise of the game you don't know which 
which side of things is real at the moment. <laughs> Obviously, this side isn't real, right? The darkness, the darkness doesn't eat people. But then again, the, in the real world, we went to we went to uh, a cabin on a lake that's vanished. I know there's a manuscript over there that I haven't picked up yet, but I kind of want to turn on the lights first. Get me some batteries. Oh no! I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! Well, he dead. Should have picked up the page first, because we're going to read it now. Wake reaches a safe haven of light. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved into darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Safe in the light. The darkness is here. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Oh. Uh oh. The dog's gone now, too. Oily patches of darkness. Hold on, dog. We're gonna burn away the oil. Coffee thermos. Yeah, I can't remember at... Yeah, one of the worlds is real and one is a dream world. Sort of. Oh. You're not Mr. Stucky. Take the magical flashlight. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Ow. He, uh, ow. Coffee. Caffeine is a mind affecting drug. Cheers. I mean, that was the first question Barry asked. It's like, when was the last time you slept? I never sleep. I collect coffee thermoses. Oh, Rusty is actually just gone. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. A mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Mammoth skeleton. Mammoth-sized hole. Mammoth skeleton. Mammoth-sized hole. Oh, doggy. Doggy, no. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Fishing license. Coffee. Yoink. Stuck. Okay. Oh. 
He's making noise. You okay, buddy? Oh. Okay, you're... Oh! Oh no! Rusty's turned into one of them! Okay, okay. Stay back. Back! Okay. Stay in the building. And we're good. Actually, oh, don't have the shotgun anymore. Pause for a second. I hate it when chapter transitions in games take your weapons. I painstakingly collected and saved those shotgun ammo. So, if this is the real world, the darkness is, like, infecting people. Um. So, the solution so far has been to kill them. They're, like, impervious to damage until you shine a light on them. And then you kill them. Ow! Oh gosh! That is actually um a major. It. it I will say it is. A, a lot of this stuff isn't explained as, like, why, like, the motivations. There's a lot. I mean, it's really hard to explain without just spoiling the whole thing. <laughs> but it is explained why Alan is immune to it. I will say that much. I kind of want ammo. Is that a crate? Is this just an ammo crate in the barn? In the Look at all the ammo. It's just a box of pistol ammo in the shed. Oh. It's the smoke monster from Lost. Smokey? Is this dried blood or is this oil? Darkness oil. I mean, not gonna lie. Oh, checkpoint. Yeah. This place is cool. Oh, cell signal. What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. <laughs> Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. And I'll say I like the sort of stories where like something like really weird stuff happens to like one person and then for a while nobody believes them. But then all of a sudden everyone is like, I totally believe you. I'm on your side now. Yoink! Paper. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. 
He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. So this guy has a crush on the waitress. Or had. Cause now he's dead. Oh. That's like a supply box. Emergency supply box. Batteries. I would like a flare. For your safety, stay on designated hiking trail. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. There's some of that glowing paint. Entering Moonshine Cave. This is not a ridiculously spooky dead end. Not at all. Site of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition. A magic supply. <gasps> Is that a shotgun? Yes. I would like a flare, but I'll take a shotgun. Super batteries and no flare. I'm running. I'm trying to go to get there as fast as I can. I need to... <laughs> when I get back, I gotta... Rent a treadmill or something. Oh. I heard glass breaking. Is that a manuscript? Bird? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! I saw him before it cut seen me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There's there's multiples. There's a lot of them. Ow. Oh gosh. My battery's out. Reload. Reload. This is bad. Oh. I lucky dodge. Oh. Nailed it. I'm gonna hide in here now. I mean, it worked in Jurassic Park, sort of. Is that a light? I would really appreciate it if I could have a light. Lover's Peak is to the left, so let's go this way. What's up here? A page is up here. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Uh, let's see. It's for health. It's up in the upper left corner with the flashlight icon. You have, like, the four... It's like four segments. So every time you get hit, a segment goes away. 
Uh, if you stand in a light source, you get healed extra quick. But there's no health packs and you regenerate kind of slowly over time in the dark. And yes, you do have to like, you have to collect flashlight batteries to deplete the darkness shield on people and then also your bullets. Got to keep track of batteries and bullets. The flashlight won't go dark just using it, but you can like do the super beam and that that's what chews through your batteries. Also, light sources are save points. So always find a light source like up there. That's probably a save point. And that's that's the noise of the darkness. There's going to be people jumping out at me any second now. I don't want to uh Gonna gonna hit this light source. Ah. <gasps> oh, shotgun ammo. I swear, I keep seeing, like, the red. It's like... There's something on the shotgun that's red enough to make me think it's the flare gun, but... It's not! And I don't know what happened. I don't remember what happens when you die. I think you just kind of wake up at the last checkpoint. Uh, I know... When you're playing hardest mode, you really have to watch your batteries and stuff. So I don't know how possible it is to go through on one battery. <laughs> but the harder it is, the more bullets it takes to kill it. Oh! So you can kind of eat away at them, just aiming the light at them. But then if you super beam it, you... He's a big dude. And he hurt me twice, so I'm going to go back to the light. Ha. Ah. It's dark and spooky. Oh, he's back? Or are these different people? Dodge! Ah, he's not close enough, probably. Oh, yeah. Got you in the face. Dodge! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Boom! Whoops! That was a misfire! Sometimes it's spooky, sometimes you just get mad enough and you just mow them down. That's three people, I think it's... It's duck and... duck and dive! Juke him! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh gosh! Ow! Okay, that did not... Can I make it to the light? Make it to the light! Oh, I can't. The light went out. The light went out. It's very bad. That's what happens when you die. If you're overwhelmed by enemies, try running into the light. Well, I tried and the light went out. Okay, so this is Mr. Shovel Knight. OK, 
Gotcha. Okay, so these are the three guys that I... Nope, I killed these, right? Oh, there he is. Oh, gosh. That hurt. It's normal difficulty, so I'm just going to kill him. If I had a pit flare pistol, this is where I would use it. So the jerk move down here was to make me think that that was a safe haven, but then the light went out as soon as I reached it. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. Ow. I'm low on ammo. This is not good. Oh, come on. Come on. Ha. <sighs> good. Some revolver ammo. Page. The phone has been axed. I turned the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares. Flares? Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. I don't think there's any checkpoint. Bear alert. A new song by Weird Al. Was virus alert? Oh. Oh! I was gonna ask if virus alert was a parody song or an original song, but there's no time! Oh! Juke! The jukes! Ah, oh, I got it. Got eaten that time. Oh gosh. Alan Wake is now. He's dead. He's dead. The darkness protects. I didn't. The downside of SSD is that uh, the loading times are so short, you can't read the tips in time. Unless it's like a really useless tip, like stay alive. Man. Is that something? It is, it's clothes on the rock. Oh gosh, he's running around in the dark. So at what point is this going to trigger? Oh, it triggered. Hey, you. Ow! You stupid! 
gosh. This is not... Gosh. This is going to be a pain. Because dodging is a very quirky control. Oh, turn me around. Wait a second. The Taken are filled with darkness. Oh. Thanks, spray-painted message guy. I'm gonna try juking past this guy. I did it. This is gonna... Don't you push me! Get out of here! I know you're out there. Is that a glitch? Like I can hear him running around out there. Hey. There's a there's a page. Can we uh get over there? Oh, okay. Well, Lover's... My headphones are doing something weird. Lover's Peak is that way. Oh, I thought this was a page light. Ugh. So this is just a coffee cove. Please be something useful back here. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. Running, 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 running. <laughs> I dodged it, yeah. Oh great, now he's out of, he's out of juice. Okay, um, it's an hour, so you know what it's time for. It was unfair. <laughs> Here I was, I was looking at the tree rings. I was about ready to have a history lesson. And then I got ambushed by shadow creatures. Okay, it's a, it's a YouTube split right here, so YouTube, you know what to do.